Don't worry about Title it. Title it. Okay. Yeah, so, so Fox announced today that they are uh, developing the New Mutants uh, movie. No. Uh, for after Singer, to, after Singer's ten years done with Apocalypse, they have to ruin my New three. Mutants too. So they are they are officially making New Mutants. They haven't announced anything. Uh, my hope for New Mutants because it was always what well, the New Mutants were kind of for is that we'll get a little bit more uh, oddball characters. Uh, Cannonball, Cable, Warlock. Well, they have Warlock, yeah. Uh, uh, Mirage. What was uh, what was uh, didn't Klaus, Klaus's daughter was there who had. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, she had, uh, oh my god. Wait. She could, like, Are you talking her? about magic? Colossus's sister. Maybe it was her sister, yeah, yeah. magic. Ileana yeah. Rasputin. Yeah, magic. yeah, her sister, yeah. his sister, not his daughter. The Queen of Limbo. Yeah, yeah, she was in there. And I don't necessarily mean the game. I mean, she could be. But yeah, so I'm curious to see where where they take that. It's Fox still, so. so but yeah, Marvel's proven that events. they're not, they're not, uh, infallible either. So, and no, they, but Fox has proven to be more fallible. Uh-huh. They have been. <laughs> but Deadpool can show up because they're both Fox. Yeah, that that still doesn't help. I Deadpool was a, wasn't Deadpool originally. Yes, he made his first appearance in New Mutants. New Mutants right? number ninety eight. Yeah, by Rob Liefeld, the asshole. Anyways, yeah, well, right. But still, I'm, Dude, I'm, did, I'm, have you seen some of the shit that guy's done? Yes, I read that comic. No, no, no. I mean, like outside of the comics, like when he was taking pot shots at Valiant Comics. Ooh. Or that sounds familiar. Or um, my favorite one was when I was at uh, NYCC last year. Okay, Chris Claremont, one of the greatest writers in Marvel history, in my opinion. The reason why people know X Men today is because of this man. Yeah. You know, he wrote most of Ms. Marvel's original run. I mean, this guy creates so many characters, so great. He asked for five bucks a signature. That's not bad. I mean, a lot of people, John Romita Senior was was uh, donate to a charity. You know? Right. Liefeld was, if I remember correctly, it was like 15 bucks a signature, unless you're getting one of two books signed, in which case it was 20 or 25 a signature. One of those two books obviously being uh, First Appearance of Deadpool. Right, right, of course. Because he thinks he is the hottest shit in the world and doesn't know by his portions. Um, anyways... That sounds about right. So, fun fact, though, I did read while I was scrolling through here. Mm-hmm. Um, Supergirl, the Supergirl TV series coming out. Yeah. And sorry, I know I totally just derailed the New Mutants. That's okay. Um, they well, annou- I, was just, I just thought that yeah. was an interesting They thought. announced the time slot. I know it's Mondays at some point. At 8 o'clock. On Gotham It's Mondays. going head-to-head with Gotham. Mondays at 8? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So that means CBS is getting rid of their uh, Monday night comedies. Mm. Mm. Could be. Mm. We also have uh, Clister, Clista Flockhart is in it. Oh, really? And uh, James Olsen. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and actually, yeah, Jimmy Olsen looks like he could beat a motherfucker now. <laughs> you may just have to scroll back up to the, to the photos they released. Oh, they have photos um, of him? Yeah. I saw they had the six-minute trailer out, but I didn't watch it. Oh, Ross got it. Which, uh, knock for you, I believe I reblogged it so you can grab it off my blog. For, so you can pop these pictures up for the kind folks at home who may not have seen it. Oh. Give me a sec, I'm getting back to it. I scrolled down a bit. We, we can, we can So move tell on. me more about New Mutants. I, that's them. Yeah, they really just kind of announced that today that they're working on it, so. Um. Wow. Okay, Calista Flockhart as Cat Grant. And. Huh? Yeah, look at that. This guy gonna beat a motherfucker down. Huh. And there is our Kara Danvers. Which I wonder how that. I can't wait to see the online react, the online non-comic book fan reaction to Carol Danvers showing up in, um, yeah, to it's Carol Danvers problem. showing up in um, Captain Marvel, because because we all know that people always check facts online. Yeah, I mean, which is why I love crap, like where people are complaining about about consistent consistency problems between the two Quicksilvers that are made by different fucking studios. What? Not in the same universe. Say what? Since this part's not supposed to have spoilers in it, I'm not saying some of the specifics, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Y'all, I hate, y'all know. I hate people you. and I'm gonna go join like a monastery or something, so yeah. Well, people are a bunch of bastards. It's, it's a true story. Connor Hawk joined a monastery. See, and didn't he turn out relatively fine. It was after he became Green Arrow. 
fucking Oliver Queen's jizz just never needs to enter into anyone. <laughs> Oh. Well, <laughs> but that'll be another uh, don- donkey. Sure that'll, be another donkey <laughs> that'll be another donkey image. That'll be another donkey image going on there. <laughs> well, also along the same lines, another DC property is ending up on Fox, Lucifer. That, oh, I still uh, have to watch the trailer for that. Trailer for that just dropped. You. Me. No, you. Trailer. You. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about, yeah. We were talking about that earlier. I had Lucifer? it mixed up. AMC is taking Preacher. Right. Yeah. Fox is taking Lucifer. Yeah, right. Preacher's coming on too. Well, from the trailer, it looks like something I'd be really interested in. Nope. And it looks like they're not really skimping on the production quality either. Is so. this an original show? Well, or is this time, based Fox. on something? It's Lucifer. based on a comic from Vertigo, I think. Yes. Vertigo. Oh, called Lucifer. Okay. okay, I've never heard and of it. And I'm not terribly familiar with it. Me neither. But I read the I'll, synopsis. I'll get around to read And I watched the trailer, and it looks... Okay. Really good. Like it could be, there could be opportunities for some really dark humor. Who's who, who's uh, producing this or bringing this out? What is Fox. this airing on? Oh, is this Fox? Yeah. Interesting. So, interesting. Yeah. So there's there's like definitely a lot of properties coming down the pike for this type of stuff. That's gonna air in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. I'll have to watch the trailer for that. Weird. And Minority Report also have a trailer. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to see the trailer for that. Cause That's also going to be on Fox. I, I love that movie. Mm-hmm. That, was re- that was really good. Oh, yeah. I used uh, to fall asleep to it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm curious to see what they do with the premise. Like, Are they right. ignoring the movie? Are they? Is this after the movie? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So. Right. I just know I like that concept and that type of stuff. So, Hopefully it's good. Yeah. yeah. Is that on Fox also? Do you know? Minority Report? I want to say... I want to say yeah. Yes. I want to say yeah. So, I want to say yes, only because I remember scrolling through a bunch of the new fall lineup trailers, and I think they were on the same page. They might have been on the that same page. That Lucifer? Network. Yeah. All right, we're running down time. So, last thoughts. Knock. No, I'm doing... Okay. Uh, Mystery okay. Science Stop. Theory 3000. I'm going to have to look into it. You're going to have to look I'm into that. I'm going to punch you. It's a new show. It just came out uh, maybe a year ago or so. Very good. Sam. It's got Muppets. Sam. Yes. Hi. Last, your, your last thought. Uh, last I'm kill thoughts? You. <laughs> I don't know, man. Age of Ultron really wasn't that bad. No, I mean... Hey, remember, this one's the no spoilers. Yeah, so. no spoilers. It's, again, it's not, it's not a bad movie. Just not great. Uh... I'm I'm very curious to see where where the X Men series goes. Honestly, after after Singer's tenors up, you know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they'll go in a completely new direction with this new mutants, and they'll turn it around and actually do something something good with the X Men property. Ah. All right, our wonderful ball of rage, rah rah, <laughs> ball of rage. Well, no, I think there's some good stuff to be said about uh, what's happening uh, in television and like other venues like Netflix. With their shows, I'd like to maybe visit uh, Gotham and Daredevil. Yeah. Because uh, those shows are wrapping up, and this week should see the end of. Uh, or next week should see the end of the Flash, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Next week so is we the have, end of Flash and Arrow. And Arrow. So we have right, some stuff. Well, you know what? We'll have, we'll have to run through a, a TV series. Yep. Show, because I mean, yep. TV TV really has become kind of like the new. New frontier for storytelling, which nobody ever thought would happen, but yeah. look at that. All right, as for mine, um, here's hoping CW decides to pick up Constantine. I love the fact that... That's right. Thank you for reminding me. I love me. the fact that Ali, Ray Palmer, and if I remember correctly, The Flash have all agreed to guest star if they do, yeah. and the fact that William Shatner is back in this movement. Yep. That's right. Oh, all right. And, the, and the Ray Palmer... Or the the Arrow Flash spinoff has a title. Did you guys see the title for that show yet? No. It's Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of yeah. Tomorrow. It's That's pretty cool. Called, so. That's yeah. pretty boss. All right. Well, oh, see you later. Final cl- thought. Yeah. Adam, the Adam is not going to be shrinking anytime soon. From what I read, and this, it's a speculation from the writer himself. Right. They're gonna wait until Ant Man comes out and see how that does, oh. and then maybe in Legends of Tomorrow we're, we're gonna tie see whether that. or not this character actually acts like he does in the comics with one of the most troubled productions in comic book movie history. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. So in the meantime, his suit will just still malfunction in the rain or when he sweats. Yeah, it, he'll, he'll basically be a <laughs> non-waterproofed Iron Man. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Son of a fucking iron atom. <laughs>